Good morning. This is Dr. Robert. And on this edition of Five-ish Minutes with Dr. Robert, I'm going to be talking about being with reality. My mentor, the Agori Vimalananda, was always fond of saying it is essential to live with reality because if you don't, you can be sure that at some point reality will come to live with you. So what does it mean to live with reality, to be with reality? What it means to me is that it's an, an attempt to live in the flow, to swim with the flow of events um, as they move. The, we're all living in karmic flows that are generated by our past karmas and being, and we're, we're making adjustments to our flow with our present karmas to encourage us to reach certain uh, goals or uh, certain destinations um, according to our future karmas. It's all a matter of flow. The question becomes how best to deal with an external reality like the one that we have today, which does not, at least on the surface, appear to have any qualities associated with flow. In the past, in traditional societies, we had um, very uh, well-organized and very well-channeled events happening. There would be certain festivals that everyone would celebrate at the same time, and there would be certain practices that most people would be doing according to season. So the entire day, week, month, and year were structured according to how best to fit into the movement of uh, the external uh, uh, flows and the external seasons of our reality. Now the majority of people live in cities. They don't uh, have a direct association with uh, the changing of day into night and the movements of the months and the seasons. And therefore, it's easy for people to become disconnected from any kind of flow when they're disconnected from this normal flow, this flow that is natural to life itself. Um, in such a situation, I think it's important to try to, number one, be as connected as you can to these natural flows that we're part of. That is, at least know when sunrise and sunset are. If at all possible, spend a little bit of time at sunrise and sunset meditating, even if it's a, just a couple of minutes, but to acknowledge that transition between the daytime in which humans are active and the nighttime when we should be very inactive. Uh, at least know when the new moon and the full moon are. At least take some moments whenever possible to have vision of the moon and of the sun. Um, and at least attempt to find whatever kind of pattern, whatever kind of flow there exists in your work, in your um, uh, family life, in your own personal life, and try to align yourself with those flows. Sometimes there's no obvious flow of any kind, but sometimes it, it, that's a situation that's on the surface. Sometimes if you look underneath the surface, you may find some kind of flow that is occurring. It may not be one that is completely useful or healthy, but it may be one that you can interact with at least to some degree and perhaps even start to shift in a better direction by first um, aligning with it, first, first marching in step with it, and then starting to slightly change that flow in a more positive direction. This is not a simple matter, but it is a matter that can be thought of in a simple way and the more that the better that you are aligned with your own prana the easier it's going to be for you to find ways to align with the prana in your environment however uh, beneficial or however disturbed it may be this is dr robert wishing you a very well aligned day